Hi, this is Eddie Shore. In today's video, we'll explore combinations. In this video, we will explore several problems involving combinations. A combination is a way of selecting a set amount of k things out of a larger group of n objects. The key here is that the order that the things are selected does not matter. We'll take an example to illustrate what a combination is. We have a set of five letters A, B, C, D, and E, and we're going to try to select a combination of three letters out of that set of five. So example combinations can include A, B, C, B, D, E, and D, B, A. Now, a moment ago, I commented that the order of selection does not matter. So, A, B, C, C, B, A, C, A, B is all considered one combination. It matters not the order it just matters the contents that are selected. What if we want to find out the number of combinations that are possible? We calculate the number of combinations as n factorial over k factorial times n minus k factorial. Almost all scientific calculators have a combination function. Typically on a Texas Instruments or a Sharp or a Casio calculator, the combination function will be labeled NCR. On some Hewitt Packard calculators, especially the HB48 series, this function will be labeled COMB. This is the combination function. So let's go back to our letter example. We have a set of five letters. We want to select three of those letters. So how many combinations are possible? We don't care about order. So in this case, n is five and k is equal to three. And using the combination formula, five factorial over three factorial times five minus three factorial, we get an answer of 10. So there are 10 possible combinations. And here they are, A, B, C, B, C, D, and so on. Note here, there are no repeated letters. There's no repeated selections. But there are some cases that we can allow repeated selections, such as we can allow combinations as A, A, B, and B, C, B. What if we wanted to find the number of combinations where repetition is allowed? Then the formula becomes n plus k minus 1 factorial over k factorial times n minus 1 factorial. If we allow repetitions in selecting three letters out of the five letter set A, B, C, D, E, how many combinations would we get? Well, using the second formula, we come up with 35. So now there are 35 possible combinations where repetition is allowed. So we're allowing three letter combinations with 1A, 2A, and 3As, for example. Let's take a look at some sample problems. How many five card hands can be dealt from a standard deck of 52 playing cards. We know in a standard deck of playing cards, no card repeats. Every card's unique. So we don't have to worry about repetition here. We're just choosing five cards out of 52 playing cards and we don't care about order. So the first formula would apply 52 factorial over five factorial times 52 minus five factorial. And it turns out there is a possible 2,598,960 possible hands. 
and very few of them are straight flushes. In this problem, we have a happy kid going to the favorite ice cream parlor down the block and ordering a triple scoop ice cream cone, three scoops. And each of the scoops can be chosen from 31 different flavors. Now in an ice cream cone, when you order a triple, you could have two or maybe all three scoops of the same flavor. So repetition is allowed. So the second formula applies. Here with N being 31, the number of flavors, K is equal to 3, the number of scoops. We have here 31 plus 3 minus 1 factorial over 3 factorial times 31 minus 1 factorial. And it turns out this kid can have a choice of 5,456 combinations. That's a lot of ice cream cones. In summary, when finding the number of combinations, if every element is unique and you don't want to allow repetition, we'll use the first formula, n factorial over k factorial times n minus k factorial. In a calculator sense, you use the combination function with just n and k. If repeated elements are allowed, we can find the number of combinations as such. n plus k minus 1 factorial over k factorial times n minus 1 factorial and using the calculator the first argument would be n plus k minus 1 and the second argument would be just k. I hope you find this video helpful and have a great day. Thank you very much for watching.